Jesus, 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 Jesus. 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 Jesus, Jesus, Savior, Savior, Savior. Savior, 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 His name is Jesus, 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 Healer, 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 what's His name? Jesus, Jesus, yeah, 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 yeah. Jesus, yeah, 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 yeah. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. Praise ye the Lord. In the words of our dear sister Murder, just tell the Lord thank you. <laughs> He's worthy just like that. In every situation, the Lord's name is worthy to be praised. Amen, amen, amen. Thank God for Jesus on today, and we greet you in that highest name. There's no other name given among men whereby we must be saved. Welcome one and welcome all to our Wednesday night evangelistic service right here at the San Francisco Temple Christian Assembly, 10191 Halls Ferry Road, right here in the city of St. Louis, Missouri. Our scripture reading for tonight is coming from the book of Exodus, 14th chapter, beginning at the 13th verse. And it reads thus, And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show to you today. For the Egyptian whom you seen, whom you have seen today, you shall see them again no more forever. The Lord shall fight for you, yeah, 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 and you shall hold your peace. This is the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord of Yahshua is blessed, and the blessings of the Lord make it rich. Added no sorrow. Let us pray. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Righteous God in heaven, here we are once again and again and again, leaning and depending on you, for we stretch our hand to you. You are our only hope, and all of our help comes from you. So we thank you today for who you are. Thank you today for all that you've done. Thank you today for what you're going to continue to do. Because you are the God of all flesh and there's nothing too hard for you. We bless your name in this place. We ask your blessings upon this service, oh God. Anoint your maid servant that's going to declare your word on today, the Asha. Oh God, pour out fresh fire upon her. Strengthen her from the top of her head to the sole of her feet. Have thine own way. And whatever you do, we'll continue to give your name, the praise, the glory, and the honor. It all belong to you. In Jesus' great name we pray. Clap your hands, all ye people. Shout unto God with a voice of triumph. Amen, amen, amen. We thank God for Jesus on today. We thank God for our dear pastor, the Honorable Bishop Luther James Blackwell, Jr., the ruling elders, 
as well as all of the membership right here at San Francisco Temple. We're so grateful for all of you that are tuned in uh, by way of live stream. You're more than welcome at any time that we have services to join in with us. And we invite you, if you are here in the vicinity, to come by and visit with us. We will be so glad to have you. At this time, without any further ado, I'd like to present my spiritual daughter. I'd known her ever since she was a little toddler. Looked like she was knee high to a duck. <laughs> but we go way back, and I have admired her, and she says the same about me. But we thank God for Jesus in every generation. Amen. The Lord is concerned about every generation. Amen. We're going to present to some and introduce to other, none other than evangelist Aisha Robinson. Come and go as the Lord leads you. Say amen, somebody. The blood that ye the shed for me way back on Calvary the blood that gives me strength from day to The blood that Jesus shed for me way back on Calvary. The blood that gives me strength from day to day. to God who is the head of my life I thank God for being here and I also want to give reverence and uh, give uh, glory to my husband Marion Robinson the fourth amen also I want to give honor to the bishop the bishop Luther James Blackwell jr. and I also want to give honor to the ruling elders elder Melvin Harris which is my cousin, <laughs> and also to uh, Elder George Husbeth. And also I want to give honor to the chief minister, my godmother, Evangelist Dorothy Savage. I want to give honor uh, to honor is due, amen, um, and to the members and the saints of Christ here at San Francisco Temple. I don't take this lightly. I don't take this lightly at all, um, speaking up here and I thank God for the the teachings that I have get I, well, I'm sorry that I have given um 
was given to. I thank God for the founding um, pastor, the white man Daniels, and his, his wonderful wife, Mother Marie. I thank God for their teachings. I thank God for, um, for their part, partake in my life. And I want to give honor to those whose honor is due. Um, my topic, I'm going to uh, preach the topic from this year's scripture um, that Bishop, um, that was placed on Bishop's heart. And that's perfect peace in troublous times. But I also have a subtopic along with that. Look up to him. And I want you all to say that. Look up to him. Not sideways, not, 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 not down. Look up to him. And uh, the, the scripture, I'm going to read the, the scripture that we, um, that is part of it. That's Isaiah 26 and 3. And I'm going by the Amplified Version. I'm also going to read the King James Version of that. Um, Isaiah 26 and 3. You will keep in perfect peace, and I'm sorry, you will keep in perfect and constant peace the one whose mind is steadfast, that is committed and focused on you in both inclination and character because he trusts and takes re refuge in you with hope and confident expectation. I also want to read the King James Version of that, of Isaiah 26 and 3. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because I trusted in thee. So um, at your leisure time, and, I, and when I said my subtopic, look up to him, I'm coming from Matthew 24, and I'm, I'm just going to, um, ask you to read that at your leisure time because that is part, because of time restraints. Um, I want to um, not go through the whole things, but it's basically, and I will give you a summary. He just said to, you know, look what's going on in the world, you know, through um, tribulation, through things that, um, during perilous times, you know, during, um, during the times of grief and sorrow. So I'm summarizing that little part, but Matthew 24 um, tells you more about that. And um, perfect peace in troublous times. And I'm going to go into the definition of peace. The definition of peace is freedom from disturbance. That's what I got from the dictionary. Freedom from disturbance. If you are free in your mind, you don't you wouldn't be disturbed if you free in your mind you would not be disturbed but in order to be free from that disturbance you have to have god in your heart in your mind in your spirit cuz if you don't you will be disturbed that's just simple as that you know you see people um if not killing themselves, people are in despair. They are in sorrow. They have anxiety, full of, um, full of grief, full of everything, but they don't have the peace that surpasses all understanding either. So uh, if you have that freedom, you have God. If you don't have that freedom, you will have disturbance and confusion. And um, also, um, I want to get into the word of John 16, 33. And Jesus spoke about this. He said, these things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye, may, ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation. But be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. So if he overcome the world... And you know he overcome the world. See, the church is not a builder. The church is in your heart. So if you know he overcame the world, you know in your heart that you shouldn't worry about anything, even during turbulent times. We shouldn't have to worry about anything. We should have peace every day. Now, we do have trials and tests. 
But those trials to test not only make you strong, but it, it teaches you a lesson and, and it makes us even more um, capable of taking different tests or better yet, give us more peace and more wisdom. If you stay in your words, stay on your face, take away distractions and put that peace within you. During this, during this um, turbulent times, everything will be all right. If you look up to him, everything will be all right. And I want to touch into the problems of the modern day world. You know, we all go through it. The modern day today. We go through, you know, worrying about the gas prices, um, the cargo ships in California not providing you the food. Um, run, you know, we running out of supplies and then next thing you know, we run out of toilet paper. We, it's just all sorts of things. And we worry about COVID-19. I, I tell you personally, I don't worry about none of that because God is my provider. I know he's my provider physically and even my provider mentally because he gave me his word of peace. And when we carry that with us and know that he can and will, it's, 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 it's total peace. It's, oh, what is that? You know, I go to work every day and they talk about, about politics, talk about, well, you know, in the trucker world, and I'm a truck driver for a living, we, we talk about, well, how are we going to bring this here, that here, and, you know, girl, you should do this. I'm like, do what? I said, I don't worry about those things. And of course, they look at me complex, like I'm not um, sure what's going on. But, I, but God gave me warning. He gave me Matthew 24 for that and to and have me to look up to him no matter what, no matter who's dropping like flies, you know, in death. He still told me to look up to him. Look up to him. Because the more we look up, Jesus had to look up when John the Baptist was, was taken into prison and he, and he got his, his head chopped off. He had to look up because if he looked at that situation, he wouldn't get to that focus. He wouldn't get to that promise that he's trying to get to in, in order for us to be safe through his blood, through his power. So we have to realize, we got to look up no matter what the situation is. He is our only source of what we need. He is our Jehovah Jireh, our provider. And in Luke 6, 38, it says, Give, and it shall be given unto you. Press down together, shake it together, and run it over. Shall men give unto your bosom? Again, he's your provider. So, that's why even when, when our money gets low, when, when things is not the way it's supposed to be, God will give you that wisdom. To, 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 he will give you that supply of your needs. If you, if you just look up to him, look up. Look up and live. And then oftentimes we'd be afraid, confused, misunderstand, and I went on to that, but you know, we also have that type of fear when, when we go through. And he said in, in Timothy, you know, 1 Timothy, no, I'm sorry, 2 Timothy 1, 1 7, he said, Thou hast not given us the spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind. We shouldn't have to worry about anything, you all. We should not. We should be at peace every day. Although we go through in, uh Test of trials, but you should know in your spirit, in your heart, okay, that God got it. I'm not tripping none. Yeah, I said it like that. And I shouldn't. You know, every time I get on the truck, Lord, I thank you. I'm okay. Okay? Sometimes I have to miss a few days because of weather or because the truck broke down. And I'm worrying about where my bills coming from day to day. Or am I going to be able to pay rent? I don't have to worry about that because I look up to him. Peace in troublous times. 
I don't have to worry about anything like a, a, a person of, of, no, of no faith. I shouldn't have to worry about anything. I can live at ease. And he want us to live at ease. Just look up to him, no matter what. And then, 1 Peter 5, 7 say, Cast all your cares upon him, for he careth for you. So, any type of ickiness in your spirit, cast it to him. Any type of temptation, cast it to him. Whenever gas prices is high to the point that you got to put $5 in the tank, put, his, put your cares on him. Look up to him during, uh, during troublous times, peace in troublous times. We should do that, you all. We should do that. During the times when, 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 when we hurting in our body, look up to him. Our curse is not of this world. Our curse is towards heaven. So imagine when you go to heaven and you don't have to go through this again. That's a blessing. That is an honor. We're going to go through here, but he wants us to have peace through the tests and trials that we go through, even when it's out of our mind and it seems like it's impossible for it to, to, to be solved. We should look up to him. Perfect peace in troublous times. Perfect peace in troublous times. And, and, you know, people that are, I can say it like this, people are, the, the, the people that don't have peace in their heart, that, that don't have peace in their mind, and especially those who are, who are not saved, who are not um, of the faith, it seemed like, you know, we go to different sources. Now, nowadays, internet, nowadays, um, mediums, nowadays, certain people will try to give you that type of peace. And inside of you, you still don't feel the peace that you need. And even backsliders, you know, you know the answer. You know to look up to him. But, but because you, uh, your flesh is weak, you, you, you just, or you feel like God is ashamed of you. You couldn't, you couldn't ask for peace or ask for that uh, forgiveness in your heart. You know, we're supposed to look up to him, and I give you a scripture for that. Isaiah 1 and 8. Come now. Come now. Not 1 one eight, one eighteen. So are you all. Come now and let us reason together, said the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they should be white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they should be as wool. If you be willing and obedient, ye should eat the good of the land. But if ye refuse and rebel, Ye shall be devoured with the sword. Yes. For the mouth of the Lord hath spoken it. You know you all are tired and you trying to find answers. Come to him. Eat the feast that is planted before you. He's waiting you all. He's waiting you all. He, he gave us warning. So that was your answer in Matthew 24. Again, read that at your leisure time. He already gave you the answer. He telling you what's going on. All in Matthew 24. He already told you. Come forth. Come now, let us reason together. And you know what? We were, and, and, and I'm going to go back to this a little bit. And we talked about, you know, uh, things that we worry about in the world. We also worry about, you know, how we can eat, how we can drink and things. So I want to give you a nugget for that. And this is the last thing I will say because after this, God told me to sit down. So we're going to roll on. Revelation 
Revelation 6 and 6. And I'm going to read this from the, um, from the contemporary English version so you all will understand that. And it say, I heard what sound like a voice from somewhere among the four living creatures. And it said, a letter of wheat will cost you a whole day's wages. Three liters of barley will cost you a day's wage too. But don't ruin the olive oil or the wine. So what he's saying is this. A bread can cost a lot more than what it used to be. I'm saying that in modern times. We have to sit there and ask God for wisdom, not only that, for faith, for that, for him to be a provider. Again, stop worrying, you all. He will be a provider if we are his child and if we just do what we're supposed to do as saints. For an, un, for an unbeliever, you know, you're tired of meeting those, those bills and things like that. You will have problems as an unbeliever. Because that's, that's where it's paved out to be. Sometimes things will seem like it goes good, you know. But you're going to fall to a dead end. It, it's, it always results to that if you don't have Christ. God is our provider. And, and he also the provider of our jobs. Do you know God is the control of government? So during the time when the government is not going to give you anything, God will. He can override that. All we have to do, again, look up to him. Pray. Ask God to supply. First, ask God to forgive me for the sins that I committed, Lord. I'm tired. And I'm tired of not having anything. I'm tired of things going wrong left and right because of the fact that I don't have you in my life. He will stop anything. Not only finances, he could probably um, stop you from, from having a, 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 a good car running, anything to get your attention. Again, God is control of everything. Even the currency, even the, 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 the money system. He's in control of that. Somebody need to hear that on today. He is the controller of government. And I thank God for that. That's why I'm at ease. I'm not tripping about politics. I'm not tripping about, uh, about money. I'm not tripping about what's going to go on the next day. Because when it all said done with, I, I know I'm okay. I know that he's the supplier of my needs. And, and you know, you, okay, you may not have it today. You may have it the next week. Okay. Thank God. Because I never have seen the righteous forsaken. Nor is see begging bread. I haven't seen it, y'all. I haven't seen it not one time. You know, one day I'll probably have ramen noodles and a half plate. Okay, and the next day I'll probably have red lobster with, with a not lobster tail in front of me. God is the supply of our needs, you all. We should be content. For what God with content is great gain. Be grateful, you all. Look up to him. Peace do a troublous times. And that's all I have to say, you all. Look up to him. Peace do a troublous times. Amen. And I want to go ahead and pray for you all, for those who are not saved. You do have a chance. You still living. You still, it, it's, it's, it's not the end for you. As of yet, you still living, looking at this message. And, 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 and I just thank God for you all. And even for the saints, thank you for, for tuning in. Because you know, you know God is good. So I want to pray. Lord Jesus, first and foremost, we, and, and first and foremost, I want to give you all the praise, all the glory and honor.
Thank you for the day. Thank you for the day that you have made. Thank you for the activities of our limbs and airing our bodies to do your purpose and will. Lord Jesus, uh, I want to come to you now and I want to give you praise for allowing me to speak to your people today. Lord Jesus, thank you for wording my mouth. Thank you for taking my mind over, Lord. Thank you for using me as your vessel. Lord Jesus, I give you praise, glory, and honor. Thank you for this opportunity, Lord Jesus. And Lord Jesus, I want to pray for the unsaved, Lord, for those who want you, Lord. You say if ye hunger and thirst after righteousness, they should be filled. So, Lord, I ask you right now to let them come to you hunger and thirst after you, Lord. I ask you right now to uh, forgive them for their sins, Lord Jesus, like never before, Lord. Lord Jesus, I ask you right now to let them walk in you, Lord. Give them the answers that they need, Lord, because they need it more than ever, Lord, because it's, it's getting closer and closer to that time of your coming. Lord Jesus, let them, let them hunger and thirst after you, Lord. And for those who are, are, are saved, Lord Jesus, and already know who you are, Lord, give them strength do, every day, Lord. Give them strength. Give them strength to fight. Give them strength to, to bear it. Give them strength, Lord Jesus, to, to know your word, Lord. Have them to read the word. Have them to eat your word daily in your name, Jesus. I come against lethargy. I come against uh, laziness. I come against tiredness in your people, in your name, Jesus. I speak these things, Lord Jesus. And Lord Jesus, I thank you and I praise you right now, Lord Jesus. We want to give you all the praise, glory, and honor, Lord, and that's we um, support your ways and to do what we need to do, Lord Jesus. I ask you right now to let us carry you in our hearts each day. Let us carry every second, every minute, every hour, every day. In your name, Jesus. And Lord Jesus, keep us protected, safe from all her harm and danger, seen and unseen. Lord, I come against straight bullets. I come against uh, run, um hit and runs. I come against any attack. I come against anything that is not of you and your people and the people that are seeking you in your name, Jesus. We give you all the praise, all the glory and honor in your name, Jesus, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. Amen. God bless you all.